Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Oh my god, it has been a long time. Stas here, and it's about time. First things first, I'm going to get cracked into a beer. And this is a beer that I've had for a long time. Uh, it's probably not the longest uh, that I've held on to a beer. And all those who have sent me a beer and I'm yet to do a uh, review, I apologise. But today I'm going to do the KBS clone by none other than Guggy Larson. Why did I say that with an Irish accent? Guggy. Guggy Larson. Larson. Not Googe or however other people have been saying it. Guggy. He did a tutorial himself. Anyway, I am very excited about this. Those of you who are regular watchers to the channel. Oh, and look at the gentlemanly little tab there. Thank you. Um. Number one, I've been very excited about this beer. Number two, uh, I've had a rather, maybe slightly intoxicated um, encounter with the KBS, the real KBS, the founders one, uh, on the weekend as part of Gabs. So I thought, what better time when it's fresh in my mind and potentially a little hazy. But anyway, enough about that. Let's, let's get it cracked. It's been out of the fridge for a little while. Oh, a bit of smoke. It's got the bourbon. Not too bourbony so far. Let's go for the pour. And I thought I'd do this fancy glass as well. Courtesy of my sister for my birthday present. Oh, we're gonna just slam that out there. Look at that. I, I I messed that up. Anyway, while we let that settle down, what's what's it say here? So this is uh, got Marisota chocolate, roasted barley, black malt, crystal one twenty. Uh, with Willamette nugget and Nottingham yeast, with Belgian chocolate, coffee, cocoa nibs, and Kentucky bourbon soaked oak chips. Oh yeah! So we can get through this head. It's kind of died down a bit. Definitely get the coffee and the bourbon. This is a much better level of bourbon rather than the. Um, what did I say? Yeah. It's still definitely there though. I'm getting that real dark chocolate coffee. Mm. Yum. Anyway, I'm going to chomp through the foam and dive in. Cheers, Googie. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm still astounded that uh, people are sending me beers from all over the world. It's awesome. Cheers, BrewTube. Cheers, everyone else. Another, mm, another, another sip. So this is 8.2%, um, 54 IBUs. It's quite dry at the back. Um, the, it's, it's got a bit of a slight coffee astringency to it. Um, it's definitely got that sort of oaky tanninic, tanninic? Tannin-y, um dryness. Excuse me. At the back, uh, the malts aren't coming through as much as I remember from the original. This is a lot drier. The flavour's still there though. Um, but yeah, I, I remember the KBS as being a little uh, rounder and richer. Uh, this is—I've had this for a couple of months. Uh, so I think it's about six months old. I might be wrong. 
Um, yeah, so it's it's definitely different. It's a delicious drink, though. Yeah, I'm definitely getting more of that tanniny uh, stringency um, of the, the coffee and the oak. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy that while I edit and finish recording this video. Holy crap, it's almost six minutes. <laughs> so, what has been happening with me? Um, I've, uh, yeah, without going into any details, we've had a great May 2018. Spectacular. Uh, that's a lie. Uh, but then it's all, it's all good. Everyone's everyone's okay. It's just been very draining. Uh, but anyway, in the meantime, my channel I've noticed is just creeping up towards the 1,000 subscribers mark. Which is rather unexpected, and uh, I, th I I I hit 100 really quick is when I started the channel. Then I did a giveaway for 200 soon after because I missed the 100. And then I thought, oh, I'll do the 500. And that missed, and then I got busy and I moved, and Christmas, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm almost at 1,000, and I thought, I better do, I better announce something, and I'm not going to do it. But I was wondering what to do, because a lot of you are in on the other side of the world, or international, and so postage can be expensive for beer, and, uh, you know, I don't mind doing that. But I thought I'd do something a bit different. Because of where I am geographically, uh, and most of you guys are in states or um, England or New Zealand or whatever, what I thought I'd do is I'd offer up a small uh, giveaway of hops from the Australasian area. And I'm not 100% sure what this is, but it'll be something like, and if it'll be about this, and I don't think anyone's going to really care anyway. I'm going to give. 30 bucks worth of hops of your choice, either Australian or New Zealand, uh, that I can get, and um, we'll work that out. And I will ship them to you at my cost as a little thank you from this little corner of the world, which has a lot of hops which apparently are difficult to get in some places. So, to, uh, to go in the entry of it, I'll do a separate video because it'll just get too confusing. Uh, but that's what I've been thinking that I'll do. And I'm going to do it because I'm going to do it. So, yeah. Uh, what else has been happening? Uh, Gabs was the weekend. Sorry, I keep looking over here because I've got a monitor here. Yeah. Um, Gabs on the weekend was really fun. Um... Lots of beers. I think we had over 40 beers. There were only, like, most of them were sort of 80. Well, we shared an 85ml taster. Plus a couple of others and befores and afters and all the others. Um, that was the... What was the... What was the beer? So it was the Hop Nation Brett Sour, which was probably the best beer that I had on that night. The James Squire... Shipwreck. Uh, there was also a strawberry. Was it the White Walker? I'll, I'll get the details and put it up here. Um, yeah, they were really good as well. I had I actually had more, way more sours than I thought I was going to have. I also enjoyed them a lot more because I'm pretty new to sours. Uh, but yeah, I kind of got my taste in, uh, which was, which was good. Uh, then we went to uh, Noble Hops for a Brewdog Tap Takeover. When we got there, there was two Brewdog beers. Uh, one was the uh, Jet Black Heart, and the other one was another... It wasn't Coco Psycho, but it was another big one. They were both quite good. I had the Tuol uh, Mosaic and Citra... Sa sour? I want to say Sour. It might have been an IPA. Things were a little hazy, but yeah, and then we also shared the uh, the KBS, um, which I think this one's better. 
because it doesn't have so much bourbon. Anyway, um, what else? I've got the grain glass of the Goody Milk Stout, which I've got to finish. I've got the pouch to couch. Pouch to couch? Yeah, coming. That's uh, tasting, clearing out really nice. Um, and I don't know what else is happening. Bruder Balti Porter, uh, that's fermenting away. Um, and yeah, things are just ticking along. Um, just sort of chilling. Chilling after a month of crazy havoc. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to put up a quick video. He says at uh, 11 minutes or whatever I added this down to. Uh, just to get in and say good day and to thank everyone for uh, all the well all the old school subscribers and all the new subscribers thank you very much uh, it's you know it's great I'm, I'm glad that there are people out there subscribing to my content and enjoying the content so uh, big thanks to everyone and yeah I'll uh, I'll continue to chat to you in the interwebs and um, hopefully we can continue this exchange I'm tired and more concentrating on this beer. Anyway, I'm really going to go. So uh, this has been Stas from Stas Brewing with a delicious KBS uh, clone, I guess, or interpretation. I'm not, I actually don't know if it's, a, if, if it's the clone or not. It's a very nice uh, take on the uh, founder's KBS from Google Beer de Brews. I'll put a link to his uh, channel in the description. I'll probably put it you know, up here or down there or around there. I'll put it somewhere. Anyway, until next time. Cheers.